what's the first thing that you notice when you look at old photographs? Maybe it's your clothing. You think, why was I wearing that? Maybe it's your hair. You think, wow. Maybe it's something else about your appearance. Or maybe you're just reminiscing, thinking about the situation and enjoying looking back. I don't have to worry about my hair because I've had the same hairdo or lack of hair for so many years now. But one thing we can't escape if we look back at old photos or videos or whatever it is, is that we're all getting older. Sorry to say that. We can't escape the aging process. The Apostle Paul in 2 Corinthians speaks about outwardly wasting away. Wow, that sounds severe, doesn't it? Why are we talking about this? Well, in our Walking With God series, this Sunday we spoke about bodies, that God gave us bodies. He created us with these wonderful things. And walking with God involves our whole self, even our bodies, not just our minds or our spirits or our souls, but actually we're whole beings following Jesus who became flesh. Later in 2 Corinthians, Paul uses a picture of a tent. Now he was a tent maker, so I suppose he knew about these things. It says, if this earthly tent we live in is destroyed, we have a building from God, an eternal house, not made by human hands. We groan longing to be clothed with a heavenly dwelling. In other words, these bodies matter, but one day our hope as Christians is resurrection and we get a resurrected body, a new body. Sometimes it feels like we're in a tent that's wearing out and he goes on to talk about groaning and longing to be clothed with the new thing. Well, that doesn't mean that what we do now in our physical bodies doesn't matter, it's just about our soul. He says we have the Holy Spirit guaranteeing what is to come. We're confident whether we're at home in this body or whether we're with the Lord, that we can please God. We live by faith, not by sight. But then he goes on to say this, we're gonna face judgment. And what is that judgment? So that each of us may receive what is due to us for the things done in the body, whether good or bad. How we view our bodies matters in our walk with God. And what we do with our bodies matters in our walk with God. We're to offer our bodies the instruments of righteousness, it said, we were looking at that on Sunday. So let's take our whole selves and use all that we have to follow Jesus, whether we feel like we're wasting away and we don't like the aging process and we're not sure about our bodies, or whether we're really happy and we feel happy in our skin. God gave us all that we have. He made us who we are. So however we can, let's live for his glory. Let's use our gifts. Let's honor him in our bodies. Let's make good decisions, knowing that one day we will be judged for what we do in the body. This is our midweek thought. We'd love to hear from you. We're back on this channel on Sunday for our act of worship at five. Or why not join us in the building, 10.30 a.m., but do book first if you possibly can. Keep in touch. God bless and take care.